Oh, look at that. Sunshine. Well, sunshine's behind a cloud, but you know, blue sky. That's because it got chilly last night. Computer said we got down to 38 degrees. Be nice if it stays nice. It would it would. We shall see. This is the first day my bees found this really good. I don't know how well the camera picks them up. Well, they're getting hollow off of it, looks like. Yeah, I went walk out and bee buzz past my head. Oh, oh honeybees. Hi, oh, honeybees. Yeah. It appears. I like these. Uh, I don't know if clematis. Is that what you call them? Well, that's cool. Yeah, I thought we'd come over here. That's what I like to see. It's here for these cruddy days, and now that they know where it is, we'll uh, keep a few out here for our nasty days. And it stays sheltered pretty good. Doesn't look like we're getting water inside of it. Looks like some of it may be melting. Yeah, that's what I was hoping. Good, good, good. Mm. We're having a good day. Saw bunches of them. Well, I got the footage on here. Bunches of them uh, uh, on the clematis. A bunch of orientation going on. We must have just had a big hatching. Or I guess it would be a graduating. Oh, honeybee. I see all sorts of pollen. That's good. Yeah, a bunch of new bees. Ooh. Getting run into as they're coming in. The ones heading out or they're running into each other. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, we like it. Nice. What do we got going on? Yeah, bees landed on me. Yeah. These ones are smaller though. But 
Just starting to see uh, traffic back up, you know, at the doorways. So that means they're growing. And that's okay, they can just keep growing. Yeah. Good, good. Oh, now. Nice girls. I wish they were from it. There we go. Get that out of the way for you. Looking like I might want to open their uh, entrance up a little bit here soon. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, people say that they don't like duct tape, but I don't think they care. Ooh, look at that drone! Look at that big drone right there! Look at that big boy! Oh, yay! Yay! Did you see that big boy? <laughs> That's so cool. I got drone! I don't know if I've got drones, but I have drone! <laughs> Uh, that's funny. He was a good looking boy too. Yeah, they're, everybody bringing in little bits of pollen. Yeah, I'll stay a little, I promise. Yeah, it looks like I might want to give them a little bit more space on their opening in that one. But, in all actuality, that's about all the space I'd like to ever need to give them. And if uh, they have a problem with that, they have a problem with that. They use a whole lot smaller entrances than that on trees. And seem to function fine. Mmm, that makes me happy. I was a little, of the three, I was thinking that this one was falling a little bit behind, but it don't look like it now. Hmm, I love that sound. I think maybe tomorrow if we're nice, I might check that center one again and see if they still have plenty of room I was watching Ian's video this morning and he was talking about uh, balancing her well he was doing it was like a paper combine but he used a uh, queen excluder in there also to keep the queen separate and let the two uh, colonies balance out between the smaller and the larger I've done something similar I never thought about um, doing a uh, in essence a combine except for with the queens I've done it where I had a uh, single in between where I had a colony up top and a colony down below and a single in the middle with uh, excluders on each side of it and let the two colonies balance between that but uh, never done it with just uh, an excluder oh there's a big fat drone squeezing his way out mm -hmm. yeah. Off to see the wide world of honeybee. Oh, there's another one coming in. Oh, oh, oh. They don't seem to fly as well as uh, their sisters. Nice looking bees. That makes me happy. Good girls.
Yep, yep. I'd like to look in that one also and see if the queen's, maybe we'll shake the queen down below and put an excluder on there. But then we run into the issue with drones. Maybe I could put an upper entrance somehow. I also figured out how I'm gonna fix my um, domed um, inner cover situation. Uh, my assumption is the biggest reason the bees are doing it is because they were used to the sugar bricks up there and or because of those sugar bricks up there, the uh, uh, covers have kind of got a dome to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay my uh, queen excluders on top of them and then put the lid on and uh, the weight on so that they flatten back out. And uh, we'll see if that fixes that issue. Or at least the majority of that issue. Yeah, they're bringing in a good bit of pollen, that's for sure. A lot of it, that light gray, pretty sure it's blackberry. Yeah, because it's, see, it's little bits. Of, whoa, that was a near dodge. I'll get out your way. Uh, seems like it's just little, little bits of it, but a lot of little bits. Yeah, that was cool though. <laughs> that makes me feel good. Them girls is up and rolling. I don't know about these two. <laughs> They're rolling, but not as fast as their sisters, I don't think. Somebody's grumpy. Good bit of bees flying for how cruddy our day is. Well, I just wanted to come down and see how they were doing. And it appears they're doing just fine. We all have a blessed day. I gotta go mow on. <laughs> Bye. I at least have three, I have four, might be the same two, <laughs> blessed days, mm, bye.